Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Hot Takes, where we watch a movie and then tell you if you should watch a movie. I'm your movie watching host, older bro. I'm your other movie watching host, younger bro. And today, we return with episode two of the summer movie blockbuster marathon with the new Transformers movie. Of course we did. Because I was very excited for it, so much so I insisted that I pay for this movie. Yes, it's a miracle. I mean, it's not a miracle because Younger Bro has a job and therefore is able to Yay, slightly pay, pay for things now. For things. It's not a miracle at all. But I might be looking into getting a job that's less dusty because I'm still coughing up the storm. Yeah, it's like you're <clears throat> you are literally dying over here, man. So working on it. Let's get into talking about transformers rise of the beast okay so i think the most important thing that we need to cover in the non-spoiler section is this is the sequel to bumblebee this is the sequel to bumblebee and, and bumblebee not... was a reboot yeah and bumblebee is a reboot so all the first four or five movies those don't exist they don't throw exist. them out they don't count all that we have is bumblebee and this yep so is this a is this a good sequel to bumblebee I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Like, I loved it. Like, there... I don't think there was anything I hated. Yeah. If, if you... If you're the kind of person who, on some level, enjoys the Michael Bay movies for the Transformers movies, but you're like, uh, I don't really like all the explosions. I don't like it when Michael Bay goes over the top and is Michael Bay. Don't worry. This is one of his produced movies. It has a few explosions. It has good fight scenes. So you get the middle of the road, I, I mean, not so over the top Michael Bay, but there's not zero Michael yeah, Bay. Yeah, Bumblebee was produced in the same way. Like Exactly. Also, so yeah. same kind of movie. Michael Bay is not back to directing. It is still a Michael Bay... It is still a Michael Bay Productions movie. Yeah. So I would say if you like Transformers and if you can spot some of the references, because we can't, I've... I've not seen the original cartoon. I know some characters, but not all of them. I don't... I didn't really spot a whole lot. I was going to say, to be fair, I'm, so, some of this, for a lot of these movies, I never know if they're just making shit up. I know Unicron exists, but... As far as I'm aware, all of these characters, starting with Bumblebee, have been in the original cartoon in some form of yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, but... They're always able to just make shit up, so... They have... No, like in the original Transformers universe, Michael Bay universe, they had some original designs and they kept that with Bumblebee, sort of. Yeah. So that's about it. Not may, maybe Quintessa was new. I'm not sure, but and well, this... the Quintessons, I believe, were a thing. So like, I don't think Quintessa was. Quintessa was the god, like the prime god of life or whatever. I. I've never heard of her. Yeah, but, like, the Quintessons themselves existed. But I don't know if that one did. But, <laughs> I don't but know. Irrego but that's not doesn't matter, <clears throat> because that's in a part of the franchise that's dead. That's dead. So, it's, it's gone. doesn't matter. Throw it out. New movies. So. I think it was better than a lot of the original, yeah. like, Transformers movies. Yeah. I really do. This also, by the way, has a new main character, so the person from the last movie does not make a return. It is. Uh, I I think she could. It's about ten years later from the last movie, yeah, but, roughly. Because but first it, it, it was, is a new. It, it is, is new, new characters, new cast. Uh, so yeah, ten years later. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think it said it was night in ninety four or something, something around there. It started out in the eighties, and now yeah, it's it's in nineties, mid nineties, uh, -huh. uh, early nineties. Actually, it was nineteen ninety four. 95 would be mid 90s so 94 is mid 90s i thought that would still count as early no early is one two three mid is four five six four five six late is seven eight seven nine. eight now okay uh anyway so yeah if you like transformers go watch it <laughs> yeah it's it, it, was, it was a it was a good transformers movie just but if you're not into transformers movies i mean it, it's still a Transformers if, movie. If, uh, if it's a Transformers movie that has Michael Bay's yeah. name on it somewhere. Now, again, the thing with Bumblebee, though, is 
because that was a Michael Bay production, it meant that it doesn't have a lot of his signature tells. Like, there's not a lot of breast shots in this. There's no one st uh, straddling a car just to get a good, like, shot. Yeah, there's shot. no, like, sexy driver yeah, kind of thing. there's none of that stuff. So it, it's much more just the action bits with occasional explosions where they mean something. I, I like how we make fun of that, but I really had any problem with it's not it's not that there was movies. it's not necessarily that it was a problem per se it's just the fact that michael bay just clearly wanted to get off on explosions and that was his whole thing was just put chicks with explosions just i want to put a hot girl with an explosion there and that'll <laughs> get me off today and that was it's just like it's not that there's anything wrong with that it's just that it's kind we of see what you're doing <laughs> yeah it's it's very obvious and also it's just very base level where it's just like, ah, oh, I couldn't sell this movie about fighting robots. So I put hot girls and explosions in it. It's like, dude, you have giant robots fighting each other. That's explosion enough. <laughs> you don't, it's, you've already got all you need. What do you, like? And guys, I say this as a person who doesn't like mechs. I don't like Gundam. I don't like Macross. I don't like... Uh, what, Evangelion? I don't like any movies that are the, like, sci-fi mechs piloted by people. I'm, I'm, Transformers is the limit. I don't get any closer than this. So I am the least likely person to like these movies. And even I'm sitting back being like, dude, why the fuck didn't you focus on the robots more? Yeah, like, the backstory and the... So, yeah, and, and this movie so does good. do, again, these last two movies have done a lot more for that. So yeah, heavily recommended. Uh, I didn't see, I didn't hear anything special about the music this time. Just like it's it was pretty standard um, like, fare of like yeah like the, there was one this. single song, but that's in like the last bit of the movie, and, it was so and it's good. for one character showing up. <laughs> that one was that was good, but outside of that, there's like there's nothing really outstanding with the music. It's pretty pretty standard for. <laughs> uh transformers the, the traveling is great like we go to like what three diff three four different places we start in new york and then we go to where south america uh, no it's it's two places we're in <clears throat> new york and we're in new york for half the movie and then the second half we're in south america for the other half of the movie okay i thought so it was that's... like two three different no, places that 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 other place <laughs> is still in south america okay so but yeah no, and, I, and I'll admit, I even like the new guy. Like, his... He, he seemed pretty good. Like, it's... Oh, Optimus Primal? No, 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 no. The new character. Like, the new kid. Oh, the uh, new Sam Noah. Yeah, Noah. Noah. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the, like, the new Noah. He was, like... He's very much, like, a kid from the streets. He's clean. He's got his head... Got a head above water. He's trying to make his way in the world, but, like, he keeps being pulled down. It's like, it's... It's like... I, I, I like the kid from, uh, I don't know if he was, I don't think he was from Queens. He's like, he was, uh, not the Bronx, but like, he's that, that guy who's in like, I'm in the yeah. lower part of Manhattan. I'm in the, I'm in the bad part of the city. Yeah. And it's like, those are always great characters. So, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much all I've got to say in the non-spoiler section. Yep. No Just issues. It's, it's, it's a fine Transformers movie. If you're into Transformers movies, if you're not into them, you're not going to enjoy this one anymore. All right, so spoilers starting now. Yeah, spoilers starting now. <clears throat> okay, guys, so we start off on the world of the Maximals, and there's two Gorilla Transformers. I think it's the teacher of Ultimus Primal who gives Ultimus Primal his name. Yeah, by the way, it's it's definitely a situation where you're going to be very, like, it's going to sound very weird that somebody's, there's another person named Optimus it's it's but that's like, not exactly far fetched. There's been a, quite a few Optimuses, and Optimus Primal is one of them, and he was named after Optimus Prime. Apparently, didn't know that. Yeah, so it's like it made sense, but it's just like what? Uh, but anyways, so they have some kind of key thing that opens wormholes. Yep, guys, one of the big. Uh, like antagonist in the movie is portal in the sky yeah it is yeah. very much portal in the sky guys portal in which the sky. you know i get it i get it i'm not mad at it it's just like 
How many times have we seen this? In the last look, <laughs> the, look, the it's. I'm not gonna sit back and say that it isn't them just you know being doing the boring th- thing that everyone does, but it's like at some point. They did it better than Dark Knight. I'm sorry, not Dark Knight. Dark Moon. Yeah, but it, yeah, it's like it's at the same time where it's like, what do you want? Like, the guy is coming from space and he needs to find a way here quicker. <laughs> yeah, he he's well. Uh, the weird thing about this movie is that they imply that without this key, he's literally trapped in that galaxy forever. Which doesn't make sense. That he does can just not make he can sense. just float out in space, right? Like yes. And also, he didn't get there with a key. No. So what the fuck do you mean he's permanently trapped here without this key? But unless something sealed him away without us knowing. Yeah, it's it's like, weird. It's so, so weird. So I get them being like, oh, he needs this to get here faster. It makes sense. And he's in space. So what do you want? It's literally got to be a portal. Yeah, we're... And where else is it going to be but out in space? Yeah, we're talking about Unicron, by the way, who I do know from the comics. Uh, like, I've I've seen him been talked about a little bit. Like, my knowledge is very limited on Unicron. Uh, what, what was actually true in the last uh, movie before Bumblebee was that Unicron was in hibernation for a long time and he kind of became the earth like that was true that happened in like the comics and i don't know if it happened in the tv show but that's accurate that doesn't happen in this movie (laughs) uh unicron is just out there eating planets but yeah that makes no sense that he's trapped in that galaxy yeah it it, because as far as i'm aware he can just move wherever the hell he wants like, yeah, he just floats through space. That makes no sense. Okay. Um, what was interesting was his crew. And what were they? Tr- tr- something cons. Uh, it starts with I didn't. T. I didn't know what those were. I've heard of the Quintessons before that movie. I've never heard of these things. So I have no idea what they are. Tries. Tricepticons? It's, it's it wasn't tricepticons. It was some, but it was something weird like that. Where it's like what? <clears throat> anyway, uh, so the leader of these alternate Decepticons is Scourge, and Scourge, he's a pretty cool villain. <laughs> like, I enjoyed him. Like, he was kind of like a more powerful Megatron. Who we haven't seen yet. I'm sure they'll have him in the movies to come. Because I don't know why they wouldn't have a movie after this. Because it was pretty good. So. Anyway he beats the. The teacher of Ultimus Primal. And Ultimus Primal and his. I've already forgot the name of his crew. Uh, They go to Earth and they hide there with this space key. Yeah. See, actually, to 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 speak about Unicron a little bit more for a moment, you've talked about how you don't know the the original source, and I don't know the original original source either. But from what I do remember, in one of the original comics, Unicron is Cybertron. Like he's Cybertron too. Yeah. Like no. Like literally the the. They at some point in one of the movies or in one of the shows, they go back to Cybertron with like the humans. And it turns out that Cybertron itself was always Unicron. It was just sealed away. And so they like power it up and it just turns into Unicron. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? So like uh, that's Yeah, like there's been some weird shit with Unicron. So like I I, I wanted I want to go back to the old series for a minute. I didn't have a problem with Unicron being the Earth. I didn't have a problem in this one with Unicron being, like, just out in space devouring planets and not being anything. Being the Galactus Club. Yeah, it's like, that. <laughs> that's fine. That's what he is. So it's like, I didn't have a problem with that either. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know that 
Unicron is also kind of like the darkness to another uh, big Transformers light. I can't remember who that Transformer is, but they're supposed to be a one good planet-sized Transformer and one bad giant-sized Transformer, and that's Unicron and whoever else that is. I can't remember who it is. But they don't show up. They're not even mentioned, I don't think. Yeah, no. Nothing. So anyway, flash forward to Earth. We're on Earth, and we get to meet Noah and his brother, who I can't remember the name of. Uh, so both of them were great characters. <laughs> like, Noah, he is just, yeah, some guy trying to make ends meet. He's trying to help his family raise the money to... Oh, I think stay in his apartment. Yeah, here it is. The terror cons. Terror cons, yes. Yeah. Not terra, terror, as in horror, terror. Yes, terror cons. It's like, that's fucking <laughs> stupid. It's just, we cause fear. We are the terror cons. I mean, I, I thought Scourge was You might as well just call them the fucking scream cons. Hell, just call them the star scream cons. <laughs> Probably know that was a thing. No. But, no. Okay. <clears throat> so. Noah gets approached by one of his friends. And his friend basically convinces him to boost cars after several failed attempts of getting a job. So, I think they are at some kind of car garage. Like, Noah breaks in. He gets in pretty easily. Nope, not really drawing that much suspicion. And uh, he finds Mirage. I don't know who Mirage is, but I got introduced to him in this film. Mirage is one of the best characters in this film. Like, I want to know more about his character. Because <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. he does some of the coolest shit. Mm -hmm. Like, and he knows he's cool. <laughs> like... <laughs> This character is so well written. Like, yes, more of that. So, uh, the first bit is Mirage keeps Noah from breaking into him. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, Noah gets in the car and a little street chase happens after a security guard finds Noah trapped in the car. Even though the security guard doesn't know he's trapped in the car and the car's driving itself. Regardless, um, before the street chase happened, a beam of light shined in the air that only the Autobots could see. And we see Optimus Prime in his original uh, truck transformation. At the end of the movie, he even transforms like a toy. <laughs> I thought that was cool. Because <laughs> I had the original uh, Ultimus Prime toy, so I know how it transformed, and he transformed exactly like the toy. But regardless, so we see Ultimus Prime. We see RC. RC I did recognize yeah. from the old Transformers cartoon. Like I said, I've seen some clips. RC is, like, one of the least, in, like, innovative names, though. It's literally just the full, like, written out the word RC. Like, an RC car. The letters RC. But they spell it A-R-C-E-E. -E. So, le like, let's talk a little bit about um, RC for a little bit. From yeah. what I know about RC, she is sometimes portrayed as... Um, like a little, she's the green car from the second Michael Bay movie. She's one of those cars, but I can't remember what it is. But she's also sometimes portrayed as a ambulance. She's not an ambulance in this movie, and she's a motorcycle, which I'm like, yeah, that fits better with the character. But in this universe, this new Transformers universe... They can transform to in into any car that they want. Yeah, basically. And I think that was true in the original Michael Bay, but we didn't see a Transformer transform into two different vehicles until um, Age of Extinction in the original Michael Bay universe. 
Because that's when we got introduced to the helicopter that can also transform into a race car. So, it is very cool to see that they have the power that they should have, which is to transform into anything that they want. So, anyways, so RC sees it, Bumblebee sees this beam of light, and that's at a museum. We're introduced to another character, can't remember her name, but she's in a, a secretary in a museum. She sees this artifact, she's like, huh, this doesn't look anything like what was described about it. So she did research on it. And she accidentally makes this beam of light that alerts the trance. Sorry, that alerts the Autobots and the Terracons. So, anyway, going back to the street race, Mirage. <laughs> he gets away from the police by duplicating himself. Yeah, he I mean, freaking transforms backwards. Yeah, I mean, he's. Yeah, his. His definite. Like, his name. Mirage is very literal. He literally creates mirages. Like, it is so good. Like, God. So, uh... So everybody, like, gets to this warehouse where they, you know, regroup or whatever. We meet... Ultimus Prime, he's very wary of humans. Bumblebee trusts them because of the last movie. But I don't know how RC feels, and I think Mirage is, well, he seems to trust humans too, so mm -hmm. seems fine. Yeah. Anyway, so they convince Noah to try to steal the key from the museum. They go to the museum, and that's when Scourge shows up, and he has these smaller Terracons try to get the key from Noah and yeah, he. I don't other it, girl. It, it's really weird because they have they have <laughs> Scourge just be doing this like, oh, I'm gonna sit back, and then oh, fine, I'll do it myself. Like he's one of those guys, but it's just like he literally just went and blew up the fucking building, and then just sitting back like, ah, you can go in and get it. It's just like. Dude, just keep blowing up the building. You're not going to blow the key up. <laughs> Maybe that's why he sent them. That way he wouldn't just risk like, that, but still. Like, come on. Like, he could have easily went in himself and got it, but he didn't want to sully his own hands or something. Yeah, I, don't. I don't I don't understand this bullshit where, no, I'm going to send in, I'm going to send them in, especially when he believes he is completely immortal and can't be killed, which is like, just walk into the fucking building, take the key, and leave. Yeah, the one thing about... <coughs> the one thing about Unicron's, like, lackeys, they draw power from Unicron. Yeah. So they're kind of hitting the Autobots with Unicron's power. Yeah, so they they very hard to kill. Yeah, so uh, Noah gives the signal to the Autobots to say, hey, we need help. So, well, I, I don't think he really had to do that so much as the building exploded and they kind of got the message. Yeah. Like, but yeah, <laughs> Optimus Prime tries to come in on Scourge and Scourge nearly destroys him. Yeah. Just like fucking hell. Like even Scourge's lackeys were giving the Autobots a hard time. Yeah. Like Unicron is no joke. Neither was Scourge either. Anyway, Ultimus Prime gets pinned pretty badly, and Bumblebee tries to come in to save Ultimus Prime, and he does give a decent fight, but then he makes For all of one second. He makes one bad move, and he is impaled through nearly through the, his spark. Yeah, he he downed. So so yeah, for pretty much he, the whole movie, he he done. Yeah, so Bumblebee was out for the count. Uh. Like, I thought he was dead, but I'm like, no, there's no way they'd kill off Bumblebee. Yeah, it, they can kill off Bumblebee, it's fine. Just like, if the other movies aren't canon, just do whatever. They can, like they did, but <laughs> something else happens. Anyways, so Bumblebee's out, and Ultimus Prime feels 
so so bad. Like he is devastated at the well, loss of yeah. Bumblebee. Remember in the original movies when they he had the all spark. <clears throat> so they kind of just got rid of the all spark in this universe. Problem with all spark was all spark was a. It was sort of like a a, a gem to the Transformers in a way. Yeah. It was one of their most powerful relics, and it was supposed to be very, very hard to find. Yeah. So it's like, I'm guessing in this universe they don't have it, because they, they go off, at one point they're, they're trying to revive Bumblebee, and they're saying like, there are, oh, we have, well, we have Energon here, but it's in a dormant state, and there's <clears throat> nothing to activate it. And it's like, so I guess you don't have the All Spark because that would totally do that. Yeah. So, well, Ultimus, I can't remember how Ultimus Prime gets the All Spark or the Matrix of Leadership. Both relics are very yeah hard to find. Well, he should have the Matrix of Leadership, given that he is currently the leader of the Autobots, which is the thing that makes you the leader of the Autobots. So he should have that, at least. Yes and no. I like, can't remember how you acquire this. I, I don't know how you I was just saying, in the original, any... he just had it. They didn't even explain it. But... The Michael Bay or the... the yeah, yeah, yeah. The, in, in the Michael Bay. Oh, in Michael Bay, he gets the Matrix of Leadership from The Fallen. Like, that was the second movie. Uh, yeah. And All Spark was in the first movie and got destroyed. Yeah. But regardless, I don't think he has it in this movie. <laughs> he, he doesn't have either. Yeah. Um, I don't know too much about the relics. All I know is they are incredibly rare. Like legendary. So, <clears throat> regardless. So while they're fighting the Scourge and Ultimus Prime is feeling dread bird transformer comes in and helps it air razor air razor thank you i knew it was something razor yeah. um so air razor comes in and she helps out the autobots they escape with bumblebee's corpse and they need to get to south america because they split this keen two that way it would be hard for the terracons to get or whatever other beings that are after this key so uh they get to south america by stratosphere who gets introduced in the film i don't know who it is but i i kind of liked him like i like any transformer that flies because for the longest time i didn't see a lot of flying transformers in the michael bay movie so i was very happy about it i love jet fire and the uh second movie yeah it's it's kind of sad that they don't have a lot like that's the weird thing about these transformers that it implies that they can just change into whatever they want but none of them ever change into a plane it's like yeah plane guys hel helicopter why is it train? only i'm waiting for train yeah why the f well i understand why they don't do trains because trains can't like go wherever they're stuck to a track but like yeah, why the fuck does not? Why is it only the villains? Why is Starscream and Megatron the only ones who or, become or, planes? Or a boat? Like, well, again, not land, easily land possible. But I, I know. But yeah, but... like, why the fuck don't you become any other thing but a car? You literally have the ability to transform into any fucking like vehicle that you want. Why the hell are you not a plane? So. Uh, Stratosphere is great. Like his introduction is like, "Oh, please tell me we are not flying in." Nope, I'm walking to South America, Mirage. It's, it's like so bullshit. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they get to South America, and that's where they encounter Scourge again after they find a temple with. The last coordinates to the key. Yeah. So, Ultimus Prime was so fucking intimidating in this movie because as soon as he saw B being killed right before his eyes, yeah. he's like, I'm going to take down Scourge and his head. Yeah, I'm just going to... Well, yeah, it's like, of course. Like, fucking hell. You have to Ultimus remember. Prime. You have to remember, in lore, 
Optimus Prime is currently the is currently the latest Prime. But when Optimus dies in future comics, Bumblebee usually ends up leading the Autobots. So effectively, like he is the closest thing that currently exists to the next Prime. Yeah. Again, he is yes. not a Prime, but Bumblebee he, is basically the next well. in line. So it's like, if somebody comes and kills your son, you're just like, oh, hell no, I will kill you and eat your entrails. Yeah, I, I loved all the cars and transforming yeah. in this movie. So in South America, we are introduced to this new vehicle, who I can't remember the name of, but he's a hippie van. No, it's not a joke. He might as well be I one. that's Wheeljack. I think he said his name was Wheeljack, but I'm yeah. not sure. Um, I think he's in the original. I recognize the name, but didn't really recognize the design. <clears throat> so, the fighting in this movie was amazing, too. I loved how Wheeljack... I like how RC was uh, in Wheeljack, not in that way. Yeah, it uh, looked like that in the original. He's he's Albert Einstein. That's I thought that his name was Q. Nope, that's, that's Will Jack. But he, yes, he is referred to as Q. He is the he is their Q. Like as in you know, 007's Q. Like the guy who does all the tech. Oh. Yeah. So he is. Yeah, that's Will Jack. So he he is Albert Einstein. Dang, Will Jack gets. Just... <laughs> he's a bit younger in this movie. Yeah. No, <laughs> okay. not that. In the in the Michael Bay universe, yeah. Will Jack just got fucked up, and I didn't want to see that. He was yeah. kind of like he was Bumblebee's like second mentor or something like yeah. that. Like, yeah, he's definitely he yeah, was a good one, friend he's, of he's, Bumblebee. He's good. Yeah, I I think he's portrayed well. How did you get that accent? What do you mean? What accent? What, what accent? <laughs> so I don't cute. know the Spanish sounding accent. Here's that's, that's racist, dude. How is it racist? You're a robot. <laughs> so good. But uh in at least in the original in Michael Bay they explain it so well. We er, we learned Earth's languages through the world wide web. It's like that's all the explanation yep. you need. Like so Oh, so I'm you're just, saying that's a that the, the the internet's a danger and any aliens are going to learn a language. <laughs> yes. We're so, not taking the internet down. I'm just going to say That is a bad idea, but it's ours to make. I'm just going to say it's the same thing in this new universe. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Bumblebee mostly speaks with radio, so he, his, uh, he has the excuse of he doesn't have to understand the language, he just says stuff. <coughs> anyway, so we go to the catacombs with Noah and girl who I can't remember the name of. I don't, uh, have, I don't remember either. She got, she gets the actual real coordinates to the other part of the key, and uh the terracons come after them in the midst of their battle uh air razor is hit w by scourges let's call it scourges touch because that's kind of how they described it yeah so scourge touched air razor real good uh Unfortunately, we n <laughs> that is neither as dirty as it sounds, nor will you find anything that dirty by googling that. And they get together with the other Maximals who Air Razor thought were dead. <laughs> um, as a small mention, Noah gets some kind of little gauntlet from Mirage. I... I don't know how, but yeah, Mirage can just, he has some of the most interesting powers I've seen of any Transformers. He made Noah a wrist gauntlet with a blaster and a, a couple flashlights, like, that's cool! Why haven't we seen that? <laughs> Regardless. So, I don't remember the names of all the new Maximals. Like, I loved the Cheetah, I loved... The rhinoceros Optimus Primal was amazing. So they, the Autobots and the Maximals have a little stare down. Air Razor puts in a good word for the Autobots. Uh, Optimus Prime meets Optimus Primal, and 
Optimus Primal is trying to convince Optimus Prime that the humans aren't as bad as you think they may be. Yeah, and this... I can't remember in the first one. Did, <clears throat> did, did Optimus in the original the series have, like, problems with humans being okay. involved? So, in the TV show, don't know. In, uh... Michael Bay, uh, original... He started to have a problem by Dark Moon. <coughs> and he really had a problem well, I was gonna in say, Age of Extinction. I feel, like it's, I feel like that's less... I feel like that's not correct. It's In those movies, it wasn't that he had a problem with them helping. It was he had a problem continuing to help. Because everyone else is getting in his way. And it's just like, they're fucking idiots. We're done. We're leaving. So it's, it's, less that, it's less that he was tired of humans being like involved in stuff. It was more he was tired of the other humans stopping them. It's like, I'm getting sick and tired of all this government bureaucracy bullshit. Yeah. Like, that's... But, like, in the first movie, he didn't have a problem that Sam Witwicky was there, right? No. Like, so it's like... Yeah, it's like, in this... in like this, he was totally fine with Yeah, it. in this movie, he very much just is like, no, humans are untrustworthy because they're humans and they'll only look out for their interests just like I'll only look out for my interests. They're like something. little babies. Like, stuff like that. I don't know. <clears throat> but, anyways... <laughs> human being, you're done. So, the village that Optimus Primal leads the Autobots to, this that land somehow is imbued with Energon, like we said earlier. Yeah. And that it's is... It's literally Incan. And that is the last place of the f other part of the key. Well, while there, Bumblebee's corpse is laid on some kind of stone of Energon. They reference... The stone the table. Yeah, they reference the fact that we could re-energize him, but we need, like, a bigger power source of Energon to do it. No. So they were giving us some hope. I thought they were going to actually go to Cybertron for a minute. Why do that when Unicron's right there? <laughs> we have Cybertron. We have oh, Cybertron's at home. We have Unicron right there. No. So we get to learn what Scourge's Touch does. It basically turns you into Unicron Slave, and I think... That's kind of what happened to Scourge and his lackeys. Like, he got touched by Unicron and got his soul ripped out in this part of Unicron, yeah. which is kind of what they said in the movie. Yeah, they, they stop really being their own bots. Yeah, so Air Razor turns against the Maximals against her will. Yeah. And Optimus Primal is forced to stop her spark. I don't know if he actually killed her. He kind of just hugged her. He and hugged she... her to death. Look, to be fair, he is King Kong. So, like, hugging someone to death is very <laughs> within his power source. Just like, uh, but yeah, anyway, at any cost. Anyway, so during that fight, Scourge gets the other part of the key, because of course he does. And... They go to the temple of the summoning of the portal in the sky, which is on some kind of mountain. Let's just call it Mount Fuji for now. So they go <laughs> to Mount Fuji's in Japan. I know. So they go to Mount Fuji and they summon the portal in the sky, and Unicron's starting to come through. So that's when the Autobots and the maximals really team up as well as humans so noah's there and chick i can't remember the name of again so right now the plan nothing, nothing against your character girl we just we just don't remember yeah. your name i'm sorry sorry so apparently i don't know why but they can't reach the console well there's there's an underground, like, tunnel way that the Transformers can't reach. Which through. doesn't make any sense, because wouldn't you assume that if they built the thing, it should fit them? Like, whatever. Well, it's the under passage to yeah. the key, which is the bridge, and uh, it kind of makes sense to me. Like, it's a very small, narrow bridge. Well, yeah, but if it's supposed to be a service <clears throat> tunnel, it's like, why would you build service tunnels that are smaller than you? Well, there are small 
um, Transformers in this universe. I guess, but like... So I'm guessing it's made for them. I guess. But we don't have really any There's small... There's no one... Uh, yeah. Like... No small Autobots currently exist. Cogman did exist in the comments, and I believe... I believe so did Squeaks. They were two different I was gonna say, characters yeah. from the Michael Bay I was movies. Say, yeah, the the one the guy we got in the in the Michael Bay movies. Were... Oh my god, Cogman was so good. I loved his character. I want that Cogman back. We probably won't get it, but no, we're not uh, getting him back. So the Autobots' plan was to have the humans go to the console, and they would lead Scourge and his lackeys onto the battlefield, and more or less they did that. I. Like, how they started the fight was pretty good. Yep. Like, when Optimus Primal called out their, like, transformation um, yeah, maximi- signal. To, to maximize. That was so cool. I'm like, oh, my God. That was yeah. one of the best phrasings I've ever heard. Like. Yeah. Oh, my God. That gave me goosebumps. I was like, fuck. Yep. Yes. And they started kicking ass so yep. good. I, I loved it. Every single scene of the last, like, bits of this movie. Like, they went from zero to a hundred just like that, and it got me wanting more. <laughs> like, so, Mirage, well, okay, before we get to the Mirage, Mirage leads the humans to the tunnel, and Scourge doesn't go onto the battlefield, he's guarding the key. So Mirage, Which is weird because he starts out the battlefield saying, guard the key, implying that he's going to go off and yeah. fight them. But then they <laughs> go off and fight everybody and he stands there. And I it's guess like, he had a second thought. What? Yeah, it's like that scene didn't make any sense. Like, whatever. All right. So Mirage goes and distracts Scourge. And honestly, Mirage gave Scourge a better first fight than Ultimus did. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Mirage held his own for a good while. Uh, and then Mirage kind of gave the humans away. Because <laughs> yeah, he was it's like, right it was, under it him. Yeah, it was so fucking stupid. He's like, he looks, he's he's rammed into the grating, sees the humans, and he's like, oh, run! And it's like, dude, he doesn't know they're there. <clears throat> anyway, eventually Mirage gets his ass handed to him while he's yep. down on the ground. And he doesn't die he i think he almost does like he, he gets is like on the ha- verge. he gets like a lot of shit ripped off him but he does not die yeah he's just like he has very little left of him yeah noah tried to help him as best as he could but by being underneath him yeah safely <laughs> so i'll help you by standing here and doing absolutely nothing yeah mirage was keeping a promise to noah's uh brother I like Noah's brother. He's like, if you don't protect him, I will come after you. It's like, I oh, believe, yeah, God. I believe he will. I believe he'll <laughs> kick his ass. <coughs> so Mirage takes a dirt nap, and then he wakes back up with Noah under him. And Noah's very happy he's not dead. But then, no, then Mirage was like, okay, I'm gonna have you take the wheel. He's like, what? And then Noah gets an Iron Man suit. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> Like, I thought that was so cool. I'm like, what? <laughs> he He's basically Doom Guy with an Iron Man suit. Well, no. I We know what he is, but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, so then Noah starts to fight Scourge for a little bit while... Uh, main girl goes after the console. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone starts trying to fight Surge, basically. Yeah, and then Unicron starts to come through the portal. Well, his presence alone gave that one place enough to ener- Energon to re-energize Stratosphere because he was kind of broken down a little bit. Yeah. So now he's fine. Then Bumblebee gets revived that way. He's yeah. on his stone tablet, and we see him get revived. So, while Noah's fighting him, Bumblebee gets one of the greatest intros I have seen in any movie, yeah. <laughs> including any Transformers movie. Yeah. His comeback, it is so fucking epic. Yeah. It's really good. Really good moment. <laughs> And so him, so Noah 
Ultimus Prime and Bumblebee start kicking Scourge's ass. Yeah. Like, Bumblebee gives Scourge a better run for his money yep. last time. Uh, <coughs> so, anyway, in the midst of their battle, Ultimus Prime is the last person to be fighting Scourge. Everybody else is uh, on the battlefield. Uh, he defeats Scourge. And then the matter of the key. So Ultimus Prime is basically trying to sacrifice himself. He's going to destroy the key and have everybody else leave. I like how Bumblebee turns into a mix of a Camaro and a Dune. Like yeah. Buggy. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was so cool. Like, he turned into a battle Camaro. That That's what that was. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Ultimus Prime manages to destroy the key, and Unicron is not destroyed, but he's still trapped in the galaxy, which still doesn't make any sense, but yep. apparently that's so. However, that makes sense, so. <laughs> Everything works out in the end. Anyway, Ultimus Prime was about to get sucked through the portal, and Noah wouldn't let that happen, so he came back for I'll Ultimus Prime. say basically Prime. no one let that happen. So, yeah. Noah came back for Ultimus Prime, and so did Ultimus Primal, and Ultimus Prime didn't die. I thought that was going to be his death scene. Yeah. Because I know Ultimus Prime does eventually die, and that does eventually get into either the Allspark or the Matrix of Leadership, don't remember which, and that revives Ultimus Prime. Mm -hmm. But I can't remember which one it is. So I... I'm wanting to see if they'll do that. Yeah. Anyways, so they get away from the big bad portal in the sky with Unicron in it. And that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, Noah goes to a job interview and he's met by a government guy that we didn't know it was a government guy, but he said, we will take care of all of your brother's expenses. I'm like, oh my god, that's so, cool. that's so cool. So the government guy gives him a card, and the card says G.I. Joe, but I think it was supposed to say Nest. No. But I... No, it means G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe is canonically in the Transformers universe. Like, they mean he is G.I. Joe. Like, that, the kid in this movie is G.I. Joe. Like, the character, G.I. Joe. What? Yeah, that's what they were saying by that. Like, he is going to be G.I. Joe. Probably in that suit. Or in an equivalent suit, since they... Yeah. G.I. Joe is in the Transformers Yeah, universe. they have crossed over on multiple occasions. They are the same... They are... They fought alongside each other. So... I yeah, Hasbro has that. their own universe and has had them for over, like, 30 years. <laughs> That's the reason why it wasn't surprising when they did a Transformers versus My Little Pony death battle. Where I was just like, oh yeah, sure, whatever, that makes sense. It's Hasbro, they'll, they'll do that sometimes. Like, they, they do that shit, they do crossover shit with their is, own toys. That is so, cool! Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, okay. So, no, yeah, nothing I thought that, that was going to be Nest. No, but all right, because I think Nest. I don't think that's Michael Bay original. I don't know, but they might just be getting rid of that and just y using GI <laughs> Joe as the G. new thing. Is the new thing? It, yeah. Okay, it makes sense. So, guys, believe it or not, there's actually an end credit scene where Noah is fixing up Mirage, and I don't know if he's supposed to be reminiscent of his original look now, but. I think yeah, it's, we I didn't know. even really see it. We saw the car, but we didn't see his new, like, untransformed look. But he gave that uh, friend of his that convinced him to boost cars, like, <laughs> uh, gave him a shock. But anyways, that's that's pretty much the whole movie. Uh, again, if there were any subtle references if there were any like other things that we missed we just don't know because we haven't seen the original cartoon mm -hmm. and i know very little about the comics and the cartoon 
I would like to learn more. Maybe I should go binge watch the cartoon Transformers. But right now, I'm binge watching Steven Universe. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it. I'm excited for the next movie. I think it did really well. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was an okay movie. Maybe they might do Dinobots next. I don't know. Well, I mean, technically they already did those, but I know, but maybe original no. design Dinobots, but no. Yeah. So, okay, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. We will come back next time with another movie next week because we have another four or so movies to go through in this like six week uh marathon of blockbuster hits and there's more because apparently expendables 4 was announced i was like oh great (laughs) yeah so anyways we will see you all on the next hot take goodbye